This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Thursday, June 21st, 2012. Hopefully you enjoyed your summer solstice. The term used to refer to midsummer on the day it occurs. Except in polar regions where daylight is continuous for many months, the day on which the solstice occurs is the day of the year with the longest period of light. How does the sun affect fallout and weather? We'll get to that in a moment, but here's the radiation fallout forecast for Canada, the U.S., and Europe over the next 36 hours. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows localized rainfall moving through Winnipeg and Sudbury early Thursday and into Ottawa on Friday. There are spotty showers just east of Quebec. Tropospheric movement indicates any rainfall in these areas should be avoided as they have high potential for fallout. In the U.S., radar imagery from IntelliCast shows a large band of rain from North Texas through Oklahoma, Missouri, Iowa, and Wisconsin moving into Chicago and the Great Lakes region early Thursday. Hopefully this will cool off parts of the scorched Midwest on Thursday, but due to the location of the jet stream and tropopause, all rainfall, especially in Michigan and Wisconsin, should be avoided. In Europe, current radar from El Dorado County weather shows extensive rain and water vapor bands moving through the UK, France, Germany on early Thursday, and then into the Czech Republic, Poland, Slovakia, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Polaris. The biggest concern with this system is for the UK, not only for Fukushima fallout, but for releases from any of the French reactors, which seems to be an ongoing issue. The interpretation of the summer solstice is varied among cultures, but most have held the recognition of it as a sign of fertility, involving holidays, festivals, gatherings, and rituals, including a yearly celebration at Stonehenge. But the sun can also be a sign of impending volatility on our planet, as the solar wind speed, coronal holes, flares, and mass ejections can affect our atmosphere, weather, and even change high atomic weight fallout back into other isotopes such as iodine-131. Enjoying the sun and outdoors can be at times hazardous in this day and age, but if you are living a healthy life, the worry is less. So enjoy your life, take care of yourself, and spread love, caring, and concern for your fellow man. Our beautiful star, after all, is what gives us life as well. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.